course, tomorrow, day to give thanks, but for one family, Thanksgiving will certainly be extra special. They have welcomed two children into their family, and if they look familiar to you, there is a reason why our Jeff Giannola is here, and he has the rest of the story, Jeff. Yeah, this is a great story. I don't know if it can top giving birth on the freeway that's <laughs> happening right now, but, you know, for the last 30 years, I've reported on children trying to find adoptive homes. I call them my Wednesday's children. This is the reason why I do it. Are you ready to come in and dance? They were my Wednesday's children back in 2012. Angel and Angela taking ballet lessons. Two little girls who are hoping to find an adoptive home. Sometimes dreams do come true. <laughs> Two years after they were on Wednesday's Child, I'm having dinner with Angel and Angela's new family. Let's begin with John, who convinced his wife to adopt the two girls. It's been pretty much awesome, but I mean, we have our ups and our downs like any family yeah. <laughs> kids, I mean. John is a cab driver for Radio Cab. When the girls were in foster care, John was assigned to help drive the girls to school and other appointments. They got to know each other and like each other. And John remembers the day the girls were in his cab when Angela turned to him and said. I said, can you adopt me? And he was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> he's like, he's like, no, 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 I already have kids and I'm getting old and I just can't do it. They just kept stealing my heart, just a little bit at a time, and then it was too late to back it. <laughs> John says the girls tugged at his heart. He kept asking his wife, also named Angela, if they could adopt the girls. Not easy for the older children to get adopted, and uh, they had really grown on me, and they were, it was weighing you know, pretty heavy on my heart, and my wife is just absolutely awesome, so she just said okay. <laughs> Angela didn't say yes right away, but one day John came home and said the girls were on Coin 6 on my Wednesday's Child program. I was downstairs watching TV, and he came down, he's like, you know, you know those kids I keep buying these little gifts for, I really like them, and can we adopt them? And I looked at him and I said, N no. <laughs> and he walked away and then he comes back downstairs again. He goes, look at this. And so then he showed me. The girls also have a new big sister, Jade. Yeah. I asked her about her parents' decision. Um, I'm going to try not to cry. Uh, I'm really proud of them. And um, I, just, I just think it's absolutely amazing. For the first time, the girls are going on family vacations. They've been to Disneyland. They've gone camping. John's wife says the girls have Big John wrapped around their little fingers. Is that true? Yes. Ah. The girls are part of this family, but there has been one thing missing. That's about to change. Yesterday afternoon, I was there outside juvenile court to welcome the family. There was a cake to celebrate. This was a big day. This was the official adoption day. Inside the courtroom, the girls and their new parents signed the adoption papers. What had been just a dream for two little girls was now a reality and legal. Angela and Angel have a family. That looks good. There will be lots of families sitting around tables this Thanksgiving, but I can't think of a better place to be than sitting around this table with two little girls who were once my Wednesday's children no more. They have a family to call their own. Is, is that the neatest story? This is a wonderful family. And, you know, no sooner did, did, did people find out I was doing this story, I started getting messages from his coworkers at Radio Cab saying, John and his family, they're the absolute greatest people you'd ever want to meet. And Angela and Angel just love their new parents. It's yeah. usually the wife who yeah. pushes right, for this, right. right? Not usually the man. <laughs> this, this was John. He had, you know, they were under state care, so the state contracted with John to make sure that they were getting to school, they right. were getting mm -hmm. to places. They contract with Radio Cab. John was their driver. And they developed this bond. And as you heard John, he said, it weighed heavy on my heart. And he said, I just knew I had to adopt those girls. It's fate. Yeah. yeah. We like to see stories like that. This is a great story. Thanks yeah. for sharing Thanks. it. People Thanks. can find it on our website, yeah, we, too. Yeah, we're going to post that whole story on our website here in just a few minutes. Okay, John.